in Jacob's trouble. What does Jacob's trouble entail? What does that entail? That entails the outside Egypt. Okay. That entails martial law. You know? See, I can tell this guy wants to say something. You can tell when someone wants to say something. That's what martial law entails. Half I'd eat it. Martial law. Shutdowns, lockdowns. Okay? You staying in your home. That's what it entails. And them chipping you. Because that's what the elites want to do. They want to chip the masses. That's what they want to do. People coming with their proud self. See, that's the thing in this truth as well. The more, this is, this is what I'm trying to put brothers onto. The more you're in this truth, day in, day out, you think Yahushua is not going to show you particular things. He's going to increase your spirit. He's going to increase your discernment. So he's going to give you discernment to make you see things other men don't see. And the other men that don't see it, they're going to be getting mad at you because they don't see it and they don't perceive it. You understand? But that's a blessing. But with that discernment, ask for balance because with discernment, love will show you a whole lot. Okay, and not everything you see you're going to speak out about straight away. But I'm going to speak for myself. There's a lot of things I see. Even certain things, and this ain't, this ain't being I'm proud, even certain things the elder apostles don't see. And that's why the elder apostle Aramna said, keep a watchful eye. Elder apostle Aramna done the video said, keep a watchful eye. Because the elder apostles, there's only so much they can do. They can't see everything that's going on. Their eyes can't be everywhere. And that's why you got different brothers to warn you of these particular things that are going on. So when the apostles don't see it, we see it. Okay, and we warn you of these things. Okay. And I'm going to say it like this. Not everybody in Great Millstone is a man of the Lord. Okay, you have deceivers in Great Millstone, a lot of them. Okay. Great Millstone is just that title. Okay, to differentiate between those that have the truth and those that don't. That's it. You know? So we're in a time of great, 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 great. Destruction is going to be coming upon this place. Great destruction upon this earth. Lockdowns, all types of anarchy is going to start happening. A little bit more time left. See if I can carry this into two hours. All types of anarchy is going to start happening. All types. See what we can find. It's going to get crazy out here. It's going to get real crazy out here for people. Okay, this, this is one of the main prophecies. Okay, Second Ezra 16, and it says, "A man shall desire." Okay, desire to want. To go into a city. So you got a picture this in your mind. Ah, you know, I want to get into this city. I need I need to. I need to get into this city. That's desire. Okay. And shall not be able. Why? Because there's gonna be lockdowns, there's gonna be curfews, there's gonna be further restrictions. Okay. It's going to be further lockdown. There's going to be, what do you call it, blockades. Because when this lockdown happened, what were they doing? They were, they were putting blockades everywhere. That's what's going to happen. I shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. So these cities are going to be troubled. Why? Because of the pride of these cities. That's why it's going to be troubled because of the great pride 
and this city is very very prideful okay so it says these cities are going to be troubled okay and houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid so what you're going to have people breaking into houses why because of food the scarcity of food okay the houses are going to be troubled houses are going to be filled okay and again that's spiritual because now I'm thinking about Matthew 6 and 19 lay not off yourselves treasures upon earth when even where, where muff and muff does corrupt where thieves can break through and steal because that's what's going to happen thieves are going to break through and steal everything you've got in a time of chaos okay in a time of destruction that's what's going to happen okay that it would behoove you to cleave unto Yahweh Shai okay and men shall be afraid so grown men are going to be afraid in these times we're in grown ass men why? because they're not going to have the wisdom and knowledge and stability that shall be what? the stability of their time No respect, because another word for respect is regard. So these are the things that are going to happen. Okay? These streets that you see right now, what you got to understand, there's going to be rioting. We're going to have people running up and down, smoke, fire, fighting. Okay? A man shall have no pity upon his neighbour but shall destroy their houses with a sword and that sword represents what? violence because the sword also represents violence so it's going to be mass violence in LDN okay there's going to be mass violence in LDN okay London and all throughout the globe okay mass violence on, on, on every level. And spoil their goods. That means people are going to be ransacking whatever store. Because you saw, what was it, 2012, the London riots. That's just a preview of what's about to come. That's going to be amplified. Okay? That's going to be amplified. And that's going to be worldwide. These rights are going to be worldwide. Okay. And spoil their goods because of a lack of what? Bread. So it lets you know why these things are going to happen. Because of lack of food. People need to eat. So when people haven't ate, what's going to be them to resort to? When people ain't got food, they're going to take your food. It's just survival. It's just how man has, has been programmed to survive. It's called natural killer instinct. Okay. For those that don't have food, they're gonna be what hunting you down. Those that do have food. This is what time we're approaching. Because of the lack of bread and the great tribulation. And that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be great tribulation upon earth that I've never seen before. Uh, all jobs are going to be done away with. It's a problem with pressure. What are you going to do then? 
work don't get it twisted brothers work brothers look after their family you know and that's the spirit because this this economy is crashing so what are you going to do when this economy is down the window what are you going to do when this economy crashes you worried about some job nine to five nine to five you see how stupid people are a nine to five ain't going to deliver you what happens when they crash the economy what then? You're foolish man. Worried about some nine to five. Okay. Why are you worried about a nine to five? You best be worried about this <laughs> you being destroyed along with this place. Because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. There's gonna be great tribulation. And that, that, that Elamite, that proud Elamite, he's going to be part of that tribulation. And he's going to be probably one of the first ones to get his head. <laughs> he, well, I'm not going to say it like that. You know what I mean. He's going to be the first one to face them, them trolls. Okay. Get his ass kicked. Okay. Because some people, some people, their whole meaning of life is just to work a nine to five. That's not life. That is not life. Oh yeah, nine to five. You know, that's not life. And really, there should be enough in this land for every man to have enough to live off the land. And to create his own what? Jerk, jobs and workplace. Okay. Damn clown. What a clown. Bear me just a minute. No, no wisdom at all. Foolish. Bloody foolish, man. No foolish. Second Peter's, bear me just a minute. The scripture says, every word thou shalt give an account. Okay. Every word thou shalt give an account. Okay. Every idle word. That was an idle word. Okay. The individual, he wasn't even considering what he was saying. Can't even, can't even raise his voice like a woman permanent as hell. I had to ask him twice, raise, raise your voice. Let's go to second Peter's, you know, and it's very rare that you see a woman wearing a dress, you know, that's a change, you know, you need, you know, most of these women, they don't even want to wear a dress, they got cat clothing, you know, but it's good. You know, when you see women wearing dresses, it makes a change. You know? Because you've got men that will say that, ah, he's a male, what's, what's the word? He's a male chauvinist. He's a male chauvinist. And I want to let you know, actually, there's more women on the earth than men. Fact, fact. Ah, he's a male chauvinist. The men outnumber the women. Grow up. You are feminine. You are feminine, sissy. Okay. A feminine. You know. There's actually more women than men on this earth. But let's go back to where we were. 
getting offended all the time. This is a uh, second Peter's three, and three, knowing this first that they shall come in the last days. So we're in the last days. Scoffers, what's a scoffer? A mocker. Okay. So a scoffer is a mocker. Okay. Walking after their own lusts. So this is what our people are doing. Okay, they come up against us for us teaching this word. Okay, that's a mocker. That's a scoffer. And it's only to their own demise. Okay, because a man could say, even in this truth, a man could be in your camp and say, double one is a great millstone. But at the back of his mind, he's scoffing. He's bucking up against the elders. He may even have a secret page talking shit. So a man like that, he's just going to be destroyed. Okay. Walking off of their own lust, so a scoffing is a lust. That's of the flesh. To scoff, to want to talk shit, to want to back up against the truth. That's a lust. 